Hi students, today we are going to deal with the partitioning method. The partitioning method, we have basically two algorithms that is k-mean algorithm and k-medoid algorithm. So first we will deal with k-means algorithm. I will be giving an outline of the algorithm as well as the disadvantages and variance in the k-means algorithm. For problem, you have to refer my channel containing the playlist of machine learning. Okay, so let us see what is k-means method algorithm. So k-means algorithm, the input will be the number of clusters k and the database containing n objects and output is a set of k clusters which minimizes the squared error criterion. So the method is first we arbitrarily choose k object as an initial cluster centers. We repeat and reassign each object to the cluster to which the object is the most similar based on the mean value of the object in the cluster. Update the cluster means that is calculate the mean value of the object for each cluster and do this until there is no change. Next we will deal with the disadvantages of k-means method. The first one is it cannot be applied for data containing categorical attribute and the user need to specify the number of clusters in advance also okay not suitable for discovering clusters with non-convex shape or clusters of very different size and it is sensitive to the noise and outliner data points so we extend the k-means algorithm one is k-mode method k-mode method here it is clustering the categorical data by replacing the mean of clusters with modes so k mode data deals with the categorical data okay it uses new dissimilar measures to deal with the categorical object and frequency based to update the modes so k mode it deals with the it's actually the k mode is actually the extension of k means algorithm which the extension of dealing with the categorical data next we are going to see EM expectation maximization algorithm it extends the k-means by assigning each object to the cluster according to the weight so here we are taking weight okay representing its probability of membership k-medoid method so k-medoid method is a representative object based technique k-means algorithm is sensitive to outliers so uh, so we have to go for k-medoid algorithm so k means algorithm is sensitive to outliers since an object with extremely large value may subsequently distort the distribution of the data. In k medoid method, instead of taking the mean value of the object in the cluster as a reference point, the medoid can be used, which is mostly the centrally located object in the cluster. PAM, that is partitioning around medoid was the first k-medoid algorithm to be introduced to determine whether non-medoid object or random is a good replacement for current medoid oj four cases are examined for non-medoid object p first case is that p currently belongs to medoid oj see this p is a data point it's currently it belongs to oj and if this is before this line is before swapping, okay? So, P currently belongs to medoid OJ. If OJ is replaced by O random as medoid, OJ is replaced by O random, okay? So, if OJ is replaced by O random as medoid and P is closest to 1 of OJ, then I is not equal to J, then P is reassigned to OJ. O I. Now the second criteria is P currently belongs to medoid O J. Okay. If O J is replaced by O random and P is closest to O random, then P is reassigned to O random C. Okay. Now the next case. Now the case three. P currently belongs to medoid O I. P belongs to O I, and I is not equal to J. If OJ is replaced by O random as a medoid and P is still close to OI, then assignment does not change. See, 
the assignment will not change because P is very much closer to OI. Next one is P is currently P currently belongs to midoid and I is not equal to J. If OJ is replaced by O random as a midoid and P is closest to the random, then P is assigned to O random. See, P is assigned to O random. Okay. Now we'll be dealing with what does K midoid algorithm states. So the input will be the number of clusters K and database containing N object. Uh, the output will be a set of k clusters which minimizes the sum of dissimilarity of a object to their nearest midoid. So we are going to deal with the method how it is done. First it arbitrarily choose k object as an initial midoid. Okay? You have to repeat and assign each remaining object to the cluster with nearest midoid and randomly select a non midoid object or random. Now compute the total cost S of swapping OJ with O random. If S is less than 0, then swap OJ with O random to form a new set of K midoid and do this until there is no change. So this is an algorithm for K midoid. Now we are going to deal with K midoid algorithm example. So here I am giving you uh, 10 data that is x uh, that is x1 to x10 we have x value we have y value so x1 represents 26 x234 x338 x447 x562 s664 s773 x874 x9 x10 76 okay according to this uh, k midoid algorithm first what you have to do is you have to arbitrarily choose k object as the initial midoid. So I am going to choose uh, two midoids that is C1 3,4 C2 7,4. Uh, so this is your midoid. This one is the second midoid. Okay. Now we have to write i x y. Okay. So we in this case we will. Uh, exclude x2 and x8 because they are midoids. So I will be having x1 that is 2, 6, then we will have x3, 3, 8, then x4, 4, 7, x5, 6, 2, x6, 6, 6, 4, x7, 7, 7, 3, x8 we will exclude it next you have x9 8 5 x10 7 6 okay then what you have to do is here we have to calculate the distance here the distance is calculated by manhattan's distance and suppose m is equal to a comma b n is equal to c comma d according to manhattan's distance you have to take mode of a minus c plus mode of b minus d okay so similar way we will calculate the distance of uh, the particular data points to, K, uh, to the midoid 3, 4 and the same is done for 7 and 4. Okay. So we will do this first 2 minus 3 plus 6 minus 4. So actually it is mode no. The negative value can be taken as a positive one. So here we have 3, 4. Again we have 4, next we calculate this 5, 3, 5, 6, 6. Okay. Similarly you calculate the distance of each and every x and y with 7 and 4. So you will get uh, 7, 8, 6, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2. And in the next point what you have to do is uh, you have to compare uh, the first midoid and the second midoid value. So let us check. Out of this which one is smaller? 3 is smaller. Out of this which one is smaller? 4 is smaller. Next again the 4 is smaller. Then what about this? This one is smaller. This one is smaller. This one is smaller. This one is smaller. And this one is smaller. So we have clusters. The first cluster is. 2,6 okay 
comma 3 comma 8 next 4 comma 7 next we have that 3 comma 4 itself now next cluster cluster 2 cluster 2 consists of first we'll write the midoid then i have um, 6 comma 2 6 comma 4 7 comma 3 8 comma 5 then i have 7 comma 6 okay so these are the cluster which you have got now according to the algorithm you have to find the total cost cost will be sigma i ranges from 1 to d xi minus ci now how to write the answer for this this is 3 plus 4 plus 4 together plus uh, we have 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 20 the answer will be 20 here okay next according to the algorithm we have to choose one non midoid okay so i'm going to take x7 7 comma 3 okay and i am also i'm going to take the second midoid as 3 comma 4 because 7 comma 3 has occurred in the place of the your second midoid no so comma 4 we haven't taken any non midoid we have taken the midoid from the second cluster second midoid section okay so we are taking 7 comma 3 from that and 3 comma 4 is the old midoid you were having now we have to find the distance between them so x8 has newly come here so you have to again calculate 3 comma 4 so you have to calculate distance of 7 distance 7 comma 3 and distance 3 comma 4 so it will calculate using manhattan's distance you will get 8 9 7 2 2 1 3 3 and here you will get 3, 4, 4, 5, 3, 4, 6, 6. Okay. Now we will compare them and we will check which is the smaller among them. So this one is smaller. This one is smaller. This one is smaller. Next you have to go for here. Smaller. Smaller. This one is smaller. This one is smaller. And this one is smaller. Okay. So uh, we will get two clusters here. One is 3, 4, 2, 6, 3, 8, 4, 7. Cluster 2, 7, 3, 6, 2, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 5 and 7, 6. Okay. Now, so we have to, here, we have to take the current total cost. That we have, the same thing we have calculated in the first uh, exam, first one also. So, current total cost is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3, which is equal to 22. Okay, so uh, according to the algorithm, you have to find the cost of swapping midoid that is S. So S is equal to current total minus post total cost. So that will be 22 minus 20, which is equal to 2, which is greater than 0. And uh, from this, you can say that. So the previous one was better than this because it was only 20. So here, so moving 7 comma 3 would be the bad idea. So the previous one should be chosen. Suppose you have got here a negative value. Then you have to go on doing this until and until, until and unless you get S as a greater than 0. Okay. So this is how you do a problem of uh, K-midoid. So thank you students for watching my video.